welcome to another episode of Come Walk With Me. Today I decided to head on out to the Trail of Winds uh, at sunrise and I wanted to document my adventure to the trail. So join me and see how we go. Very excited for this one. And we're here. I'm not too sure how we're going to go today. There's plenty of cloud about this morning. Forecast did say cloud, but light cloud. So we're going to see how we go. So uh, I've actually found a spot on the way that I want to take a photo. This beautiful tree and the path going off to the side. I just think it'd make a great shot. Uh, I mean, the light's going off over there, um, but I'm not going to make it in time. So I'm just going to take my time now. I'm going to photograph this shot and yeah, continue onwards from there. I've got my camera. Sigma 14 to 24, just because I can't be bothered changing it, and 24 mil is really where I want to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna handhold this one, and let's see. I'm gonna try two compositions. I'm gonna go for like a nice wide one. I'm gonna try and center the offset it. I'm actually gonna try 14 and just try 14 and see, you know, what comes of it. Cause oh, try this at 14 now and stand closer to it and actually, I don't know if I like this or not. And then we're gonna try, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, this one might be it too. So I think the shot for this one is portrait 24 mil from here. I think that is a beautiful little shot if I, oh yes. That's a cracker, bladder stop. Let's keep going. So there's actually quite a nice view down there, but there's a lot of tree coverage. So there's not really any way I can see to get through the trees, get a nice shot. So disappointing because it is really nice. There's a lot of houses down there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going to the destination. Still not there. It's a longer trail than I expected, but you know, we'll get there. Okay, so that clip I was talking about earlier of not being able to see those buildings in that scene, I think I might be able to get something here. There is one big tree just there. I think it might be possible. If I can pull this off, this will be a great shot. So let's see how we go. So there's that, that big tree I was talking about and I'm just gonna see if I can scout. I think there's a shot here. Yes, there is a shot here. Yes. Wow, whoa, better not fall, hey. <laughs> All right, so I found my shot. I'm gonna go for the 24 to 70 on this one, just because the wide is just not gonna work. Uh, I might switch to the 100 to 400 as well after and see what I can get with that. And I think that's a good shot. So like I said, for this one, the sky's really bright. The foreground's a little bit darker. I think an exposure stack will help here. So I'm gonna actually go F11, timer on to avoid any camera shake when I press the shutter. 25 seconds. And let's see. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. That's really nice. Okay, got the the 100 to 400 on the beefy boy. And I am gonna go straight to 400. I'm really trying to lock in on this town because 
I think that would be a pretty, pretty cool shot. I lowered it. Oh, kind of just want to emphasize how like lost this town looks or how isolated. It's probably a better way of putting it. And I think this actually might, I've got a nice line coming through at the bottom. Let's have a look at my, yeah, I think that's a good shot. I decided to edit this one in a black and white style to help emphasize the buildings in white and more texture to the trees that follow. Not what I came here for, didn't expect this, but that's why it's important to really always expect the unexpected, that's for sure. All right, all done with that one. Now let's see if we can actually make it to where I'm trying to go because this is a big detour. So my camera ended up dying that I was filming on and I ended up also reaching a dead end in the trail. I thought the trails connected, but unfortunately they didn't. So what I ended up doing was I ended up going back to my car and driving to the other side where the trail began on the other side and that's where we'll pick it up. <laughs> So two things have happened. You might have noticed the camera angle is a lot wider and that's because I'm now filming on my main camera. Uh, the one I was taking photos on in the earlier clips and that's because the G7X didn't want to charge. So yeah, just gonna see how we go. On to the location that I've been chasing this whole time since what, it started at like five in the morning. It's now like 8.30, let's get it. found another spot here taking photos um, it feels a bit more rushed because I'm only using one camera so the second camera was definitely a lot better this place is a lot busier than the other part of the trail uh, maybe it's because it's earlier in the day now I didn't record it at the time but I took this photo of this tree here against the lake with the beautiful clear skies uh, and I really liked how it came out so I wanted to include it in the video Okay, apparently the spot is about 15 minutes from where I am now. I just ran into some lovely hikers, gave me the heads up. The weather's cleared up really nicely. Excited to see what photos I'm able to grab at this spot. It uh, should be nice. So yeah, we'll see you there. <music> We made it, made it to the crosslands, the spot I've been trying to get to. Ooh, it's hot, let me take this off. Right, here at the crosslands, and it's pretty cool. I think the clouds, I think the clouds would have helped, um, would have helped with this place, give it a bit more drama. With the blue skies, it's just a little bit boring, but I'm gonna take a shot before more hikers come along. Maybe I'll wait for some hikers. I've left my gear in a bush over there, so hopefully no one takes it. Get some shots and then we'll call it a day. So what actually ended up happening was that no one came. I was probably there for another half hour after that clip there. and. It was absolutely dead. All the hikers had already passed and no one else came. So I decided to fill the frame myself to give the scene a bit more life. And I really loved how the shot turned out. But anyway, that wraps up today's episode of Come For A Walk With Me. This one was a much longer project. I intended to push my boundaries on filming, editing, and producing something that I'm a lot more happy with. There's still a lot of things that I have to learn in terms of filming, editing, and processing, but compared to my other two prior, this one was really great. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm looking forward to the next adventure. Just don't expect it to be as big as this one just yet. That will come in soon.